it'll be a quasi workout. You guys will um, push yourselves a little bit. Nothing too crazy, but um, that'll give you an opportunity to feel what change and stress and adaptation to high intensity can feel like. We're going to apply all the things we've learned and go to my favourite proving ground, which is freezing cold water. There wouldn't be many people who would voluntarily go and immerse themselves in two degree water for four minutes. Just to show you the power you have over regulating your own mental emotional state, your own physiology, just by connecting to your breath and by using your breath as an ally rather than fighting against it and fighting against your physiology and falling apart. We are the, the tip of the spear in terms of human evolution. We shy away from stress rather than embracing a bit of stress, learning to use our natural innate physiology to overcome those stresses. Spend a whole week working out, pushing ourselves hard, giving ourselves to other people. So this is an opportunity for you to work inwards and to explore your inner world. All that is left for us is for the diaphragm to play its perfect role in that breath wave. Feel the belly expand as you take the inhale breath. Feel the bottom of the lungs fill first as you draw the air down. Healthy heart has variability in between each beat. The more variability we have, the stronger our central nervous system, the stronger our ability to toggle between sympathetic and parasympathetic states of our nervous system. When you feel that urge, that tightness coming up in the throat, that awful feeling is carbon dioxide building up in the system. Just try and see what's on the other side of a few more steps. A little bit of a build of CO2, let's take it a bit further. Invite it in. You know, stress in the body, whether it's on the road, in an argument with your spouse or physically, all manifest in the same way. So if you can develop the strategies and the ability to stay calm through it, you can let it pass and let it wash over you. People who habitually breathe through their mouths throughout the day tend to have a lower tolerance for carbon dioxide. Recognising and, and knowing when the stress comes and knowing how to try and manage it a little bit better. Recalibrate, breathe more through the nose. I'm probably going to see the water temperature at around about two or three. So if anyone's ever been to a recovery cold plunge, temperature there is likely about 10 to 12. With the immersion in the cold, the challenge is generally comes in the first 30 seconds to a minute. Um, that's where a brand new sensation that you're not expecting or you haven't really had an opportunity to prepare for because nothing prepares you for that feeling you'll have to respond.
evolved to ensure our safety and anything that might pose a threat to our survival is to be avoided at all costs. Our physiology is so much more complex and powerful than we realise. Most people spend their entire lives barely scraping the surface of the human potential. And the ice bath is just a small window into that potential. Stepping in and fully immersing in the ice is without doubt one of the fastest ways to induce a stress response in the body. The sympathetic branch of our nervous system launches into full throttle and our body goes into a real survival mode. It literally takes you from zero to 100 in a matter of seconds. During that first 30 seconds in the ice, every system in the body is screaming at you to get out. Adrenaline is surging through our system. Heart rate, respiration, blood pressure will all shoot up. The challenge therefore lies in overcoming all those automatic responses from the body when they aren't actually gonna serve you. let go of the tension that you're holding in your body and surrender to the cold, then soon you'll realise you're actually going to be okay. You just have to let go. sense of achievement mixes with the physiological responses that you've been experiencing, the release of norepinephrine, serotonin, dopamine, as well as the flood of endorphins through the system. And for many people, this is a feeling of absolute euphoria, a feeling of power and aliveness, and it might be completely new for a lot of people. And the best part is that it's available to anyone. Learn to control your breathing, find yourself some really cold water, and then you can truly master your mental, emotional, and physical responses to stress. <laughs>